Welcome to another version of Big O Video. Today we're going to be smoking three racks of St. Louis style ribs in an hour and 15 minutes. But before you get started, I'd like to show you a couple things uh, just to point out. We get this question from time to time. So the first question is, where does the uh, hole for the wireless probe go? Well, as you look inside the cooking cylinder here, you can see a screw. And all you have to do is unscrew the screw, remove it from the hole, run your wireless probe up through the bottom, and put it in the meat. Now what's key here is that you put the probe in the top of the meat. If you put it in the bottom, the moisture is gonna follow that lead all the way down and it's gonna end up on your driveway. Two, the other question that we get is, where do the wood chips go? Do they go on the bottom? Do they go exactly where do they go? Well, we've got an Orion uh, wood chips right here, the pork variety. And all we're gonna do is take a couple handfuls and put it between the drip pan and the cooking cylinder, the vertical wall of the drip pan and the cooking cylinder. It is okay if you get some of the wood chips in the drip, in, in the drip pan itself. So those are the questions that uh, some people had, and hopefully that answered everyone. Now, for prepping the ribs today, what we're gonna do is a very simple uh, preparation. All we're gonna do is take our Orion pork and poultry rub and pour it all over the rack of ribs. Don't be shy. It's uh, all good. So I usually do both sides. Real quick here. There's one. Flip this. And again, uh, you can get this pork and poultry rub right at uh, the website, www.theoriancooker.com. Uh, it's a little bit of a sweet flavor, but then uh, at the end, it comes in with a little bit of Louisiana heat. We get this made actually in Opelousas, Louisiana. So uh, they strongly suggested that we ended it with a little bit of heat, and we are sure glad they suggested that because it is absolutely fantastic. Now, we have all three done. We're gonna go grab the rack of ribs and cut a slit between the second and third bone. Let's start over here. The slit right there in the center. And again, between the second and third bone on the second one and on the third one. Apply your rib hangers in. All three of them, we're gonna hang one on each rack of rib, on, actually one on each rib hanger. And what we're gonna do is go. There's one. There's two. in there and here is the third it is that easy so what we're gonna do now besides drop the dry rub there we're gonna place the lid on we're going to light uh, the upper and lower charcoal ring. It's important to also mention that you need to be level with the upper charcoal ring and the lower charcoal ring. Uh, if you lose, use less charcoal, it's going to extend the cook times. And um, so we just recommend all the times are based on this. So light the upper and lower charcoal ring where it's level and then come back in an hour and uh, 15 minutes. All right, well, it's been an hour and 15 minutes. Let's see how these St. Louis style ribs are coming around. Oh yeah, pulling away from the bone very nicely, all of them. So it'll be good to go. Um, notice that after I lit this, I removed the table. And now before I pull this stuff off, I'm gonna add the table back again, 
just for a convenience factor, but I did remove it after the fire started. Looking really, really good. Moist and tender. Take a little bite here. Huh. Oh yeah. Darn good. As my Uncle Carter used to say, so good it'll make a tadpole slap a whale. You guys be safe out there and we'll see you next time. Take care and have a great day.